Welcome back to my channel, Learn Smart Coding. In this video, I'm going to show you how to enable and disable TLS 1.0, 1.1 and 1.2 in Windows Server. And we're going to do this with a special tool called IIS Crypto Tool and I'll explain you where to get that tool. Now, what is TLS and what is SSL? You might have heard both of the things. So TLS is nothing but the transport layer security. They're also formally known as SSL, which is Secure Socket Layer, right? So both are the protocol used by the application to communicate securely across a network, which will prevent tampering of uh, data and all other stuff. Both SSL and TLS are client server protocols that ensures communication privacy by using cryptographic protocols to provide security over a network. When a server and client communicate using TLS, it ensures that no third party can tamper with any message. Now, you should know one thing that all the modern browsers support TLS protocol. And as per the recent norms, all the browsers will not support TLS 1.1 and 1.0 in 2020 itself now so we have to make sure the web server supports tls 1.2 or 1.3 going forward right so if you're working in a company if you've heard about these things right this is the step that you need to follow to disable tls 1.0 and 1.1 in your windows server in your application like not in your application basically you need to do this at the server level before I proceed with the demo on actually doing this on the web server, let's understand a couple of things. So if you're a developer and you're coding using .NET or Java or any other application, right, any other languages for your application. In fact, you can restrict your application to use a particular protocol, let's say TLS 1.2, okay? However, if you do in that way, you are writing a piece of code only to support your application in ideal world and good approach we should avoid doing this in the application level we should always make sure this is taken care of at the web server level in our case it is windows server right you might be using windows server 2012 2016 2019 it could be anything you have to do this at the server level so n number of applications that is deployed under that server will be forced to go through this restriction that is our whole purpose of doing this at the server level now without delaying let's get into the video now what you want to do is you need to download a software called is crypto tool the is crypto tool can be found at nagtuck.com this is the company which has created this so if you go to this website and go to the downloads you should be able to download the graphical user interface uh, exe file now I have downloaded this in my local. I'm going to explain you how to do this in the web server. In order for me to do this demo, I have my own VM created in Azure portal. I'm going to open that VM and let's do this together. Here's my VM. So this VM is 2016 Windows Server. Okay, so what we are going to do is we are going to copy the downloaded file, the IS crypto exe file and copy paste inside your VM, meaning your web server. In your case, it is going to be a web server. So once I do this and then I execute this, it's going to display the, the current configuration of this Windows server. Okay. So what it is basically doing is it is going and reading the registry key for each and every uh, details of like cipher hashes server protocols and everything that is by default which is existing in this windows server it is going to read every single thing and it is going to display you so right now if i have my application deployed under this web server it is going to support tls 1.0 1.1 1.2 our intention is to disable these two 1.1 and 1.0 right so the easy way of doing this is if you go to these templates, you have a couple of templates here, like basic practice, server defaults, PCI 3, strict and you know more protocols. Like so if you choose PCI 3.2, it clearly explains you this template is used to make your server PCI 3.2 com 
compliant right it will disable tls 1.0 and 1.1 and it's just warning that it's going to break a couple of websites which uses only those two protocols okay and uh, so let's see how this works so if you choose this and go to s channel you see a lot of things got enabled and the TLS 1.0 and 1.1 got unchecked which means this will never support 1.0 and 1.1 all what you need to do is just come here to the bottom right side click on this reboot and you apply this it's going to apply and it is going to reboot once it reboots I will show you how it will look here you go my virtual machine is now rebooted let's go and click the same tool and see how this configuration looks now if you look at this it has applied the registry things on all those things like whatever we have selected and now it is clear that it will not support 1.0 and 1.1 that's it guys as simple as that if you go and do a manual registry edit you might screw up something if you are really don't know what you're doing like you know if you're not from server department if you don't know all those things this is the best tool that you can guide or use in your dev environment and you can also tell your the server team to use the same tool to apply the changes on the further environments like you know your QA or stage production any environment and I know that these guys also will know this kind of tool which is very popular now so now to prove that this is going to work I have demonstrated how to test this from your browser. Now if you come to my website and search for IS crypto, you will find so go here to the search button and click for IS, IS crypto and search. You should get this page. Once you come to this block, whatever we did has been explained here. And if you further come down, this is how you need to test your changes from your Firefox browser or Chrome browser or IE browser. Alright, so once you do the steps and try to replicate, like you force your connection to use only TLS 1.0 and then fire your APIs or try to load your website. Now the changes are made in the web server, it's time to test the same thing from your browser. So how do you make sure whatever you have applied changes will, will be good for you, right? So what you do is, let's say you have some application deployed under a web server and in which you have applied those disabling thing of TLS 1.0 and 1.1. Now you're trying to go to your browser and change the setting which will force to use only TLS 1.0 or 1.1. Now from that browser setting, if you try to open any application that is deployed under that server, the connection established between your browser and the server is going to be TLS 1.0 or 1.1. Now this will tell you this was going to reject your call and that's the proof that your server is going to work perfectly and if you change the setting again back to 1.2 or 3 the server is going to acknowledge your request and process your request that's the proof how you need to test it if you like my video subscribe to my channel like it share it comment if you have any questions happy learning